Look at this. They have uh, there's a video of uh, Israeli kids. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> singing about annihilating Palestinians. You think I'm kidding? This is they thought this was a good idea. Here we, here we go. And I, somebody uh, translated it. So I'll get video created by Israeli public relations firm <laughs> Rosenbaum Communications. That's good. That's good. So when they say that IDF is crossing the line, I, did they mean the line of barbarity? That's what I thought they meant. I, I think I I don't know what they mean, but then they the next line is to annihilate the swastika bears. No, there's that Dres they're the, singing the Dresden argument. Wow. That's what they're doing. So th to annihilate the swastika bears, are they fighting the Ukrainian Azov Battalion? Oh, they're in Ukraine. <laughs> no, Gaza, Ukraine. No. <laughs> so okay, here we go. In another year, there will be nothing there. Little kids are singing this. And we will safely return to our homes. Your home's in Gaza? <laughs> Within a year, we will annihilate everyone. You know, this isn't... You're supposed to be the victim. <laughs> and that's no. how you get people on your side. When you turn into a fucking Terminator... Uh, so you know what this is? Yeah, this is almost this 80s, is, uh, 80s movie, action movie kind of yes. sentiment. Yes. and um, But, you know, uh, society they has changed quite a bit in terms of what's cool to say, but I think it hasn't so much there. You're supposed to, the, the, the Israelis are supposed to be the victims here. When you turn yourself into supervillain killers, you lose the PR war. This is put out by a PR firm. I guess they, yeah, they do this and then they wonder why they have so much trouble getting people to condemn Hamas. <laughs> like, hey, if, if you guys were in the right, don't you think you wouldn't have to constantly beg people to condemn Hamas? Like if you if, if, if Israel were actually in the right here, why do you have to spend so much time begging people to take your side? Or yeah, why this would is you just pay absolute... for them? Why would you pay and support yeah. Hamas? Because I condemn them. Like you're paying for the thing I condemned, Hamas. Right. V victims right. are supposed to be poor you, not T1 Terminators. That's this you, isn't meant for us. That's why. That's why I think you're it's right. It's not meant for us to see. All right, let's listen to the rest. Here we go. Produced by Rosen, 
Rosa Bob Communications, the friendship song 2023. It's called the friendship song. So now they're using kids <laughs> as social shields for genocide. What, what, you couldn't convince adults to do it? Come on, everybody. Let's go kill over there. The kids just gave us permission. And we always do what kids say. You're not, Rick's not understanding their culture, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the friendship song. Who needs video games when you could do the real thing? Come on, kids. <laughs> I mean, I think part of why this is such a PR disaster for Israel is because a lot of liberals are being forced to remember certain parallels. Do you guys remember early on in the first Trump campaign, like during the 2016 primaries, he had a little Hitler youth choir group come yes. out and sing that song. Enemies of freedom. Yes. You always get kids you know? to do it. That's a and time-honored tradition. The liberals were shocked. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? This is something Hitler would do. And now they're being forced to watch this. And we're being told we have to support Israel. All the liberals who are on board for Ukraine. It just came out in The New York Times this morning. Twice as many women and children in Gaza have been killed in the past six and a half weeks than women and children have been killed in Ukraine since the start of the war. Since the start of the war. So the Ukraine war has been going on almost two full years. February 2022. Twice the number of women and children have been killed by Israel in Gaza in six and a half weeks than the madman Putin killed in almost two years. Yet you can be canceled for supporting Russia. They demonetized Jackson Hinkle's YouTube channel for you know supporting Russia at first. And yet we're also and they could also demonetize you for not supporting Israel, as Richard Medhurst learned. I mean, that's how upside down it is. That's how much cognitive dissonance is required. To, to stay on board with, with this narrative, and that's why they're not able to hold it together. Well, in it's the just, words, it's unraveling. In the words of chess champion Gary Kasparov, <laughs> you sound like Putin's body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So here's another. I'll show you this. Zionists weep their crocodile tears, making unfounded claims of Palestinian child soldiers. Meanwhile, Israeli children play with weapons of war and sing songs celebrating extermination. Every single accusation is a confession. So there they are. There's the... You guys not read Deuteronomy? <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go in the Midianites and kill them all, and definitely the young, the young males, the boys. You yeah. gotta kill them because they're gonna get revenge. That's right. And then uh, all the young virgins, you keep for yourselves. That's the, that's in the holy. <laughs> that, <laughs> the is holy. that in Deuteronomy? Is yes. It? Wow. You should watch people try to explain how it's not what it sounds like. That's one of my favorite things to look up. Explain how that's not how it sounds, but that's the basis for us. You know, you guys don't understand Bible truth, so I get why you don't like that song. <laughs> but that reminds me of Joshua at the walls of Jericho. They probably sang a great song before he blew his mighty horn and the walls fell down, oh. just like in Gaza. I, <laughs> this is like biblical. They, it's people don't understand that over here they've been killing the all that mythology for the last however long. And when you see, when you look at it again with different eyes, it's like, oh my god. Kurt, I got to tell you again, it's the only democracy in the Middle East. <laughs> Is it? It's the only democracy in the Middle East. And, uh, and the, Netanyahu's that's... almost done ending that when, when they had this unfortunate incident. <laughs> hey, how come whenever 9-11's happened, BB's always working? Isn't Is that it, weird? Isn't that weird? We're doing live comedy shows in Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Boston. Plus, we're going to put a date in Edmonton, Canada, plus Vancouver. See ya. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets.